think it's warm. I think we're gonna have fun, and I think we're gonna catch some big fish. That's what I think. You wanted, well, you wanted some Escalade, right? But now we're, a we're in a Volkswagen Beetle. Oh, good. Right. Where are we going? Does anybody have an address? Hunter knows his way around. What do you think? I'm thinking, pretty Perfect. excited. I can't believe we came uh, from about 22 degrees to, what are we at right now, almost 80. Pretty excited about it. They've had a great day today, so tomorrow hopefully that'll be the same. We'll get in on this tarpon bite. Two years in a row now. Oh. Let's go. Ooh. Hey, welcome to Florida. You know, the cool part is that back home right now, they're getting like a half inch of ice. The weather is absolutely horrible. I might look horrible, but you know what? I'm feeling awful darn good, and it's a day off from ice guiding. So we're going to be off from ice guiding for three days down here in Florida hooked up with our good friend Dave Nelson, gonna do some tarpon fishing, so pretty excited, especially after I take a shower. And you know what? I probably can get rid of the long underwear. It's 80 degrees though. That's what big fish look like, right there. Weather looks right. Hopefully they wanna eat today. Got plenty of things to drink. Yep, I got some baits that I think are gonna knock the tarpon socks off. Got a great guide. Got an assistant guide. Got a cold camera guy. He's only cold. Actually, hook up. Will it be Mr. Nelson? Will it be Mr. Badgerland? Or will it be the one and only? Are you referring to yourself? Uh, of course. Which bait? I just don't know how these things really swim. I had a buddy that. Yep, Gary. Yep. Oh. I told you it was going to be for us. Yep. That's a sad face right there. Oh, that feel like. Okay. guy the hook up nice nice job Woo! you know it's pretty interesting because Dave was marking quite a few on Chris's side on the side imaging and oh, oh, just working that bait absolutely perfect across that current that's flowing through here man oh man nice job buddy Woo! Woo! Woo, I love the sound of that what a great place to be and I'll tell you something you guys definitely deserve to take a trip like this. Chris, what are you thinking, man? This is awesome. <laughs> Loving it. We started doing this last year, and I'll tell you what an addiction it is to be able to come here and obviously enjoy the weather. Great company, but giant fish. Man. Woo! Big dog, what are you thinking? Loving this. Yep. I told you he was going to be the first one. Always, he's that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Nice. Just raw power. Just raw power. That's the cool part about a this tarpon. Is awesome. Dude, are you seriously eating snacks? Are <laughs> we have a, a tarpon hook? He's hey, he's he's. Chris is fighting the tarpon. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna eat, take a full advantage of it. There you go, Chris, your first tarpon. That's awesome. Wow. Wow. Nice one. They are very cool looking. That one's, that one's dark, huh? Yeah. He's been here a little bit. <laughs> Congrats! Holy moly. Look at that beautiful fish. And 
Congratulations. Ah, look at the colors, just beautiful. Ooh, and slimy. Slime oh, time. Ooh, that was awesome. Slime oh, awesome. Oh. Nice job. That is beyond cool. That's the way to start it off on morning. Oh. Now I'm ready for a sandwich, Hunter. Yeah. Right. <laughs> It takes 30 seconds, Dave. <laughs> real, real, real. Keep going, real, real. Come on. Well, I'll tell you what, I finally uh, had one just absolutely annihilate that whale tail, but he was coming right at me and I couldn't get a, the hook into him. I just couldn't reel fast enough, but. That's the cool part about it, you know, you just keep throwing casting and when it happens, I'll tell you what, your heart just absolutely starts beating, pounding, pulsing. It just keeps throbbing. All right, maybe I'm over exaggerating. It was a lot of fun. Here you go. Oh. Holy boy, is that wake you up? Scared the living snot out of me. Absolutely giant tarpon. I had like five feet from the boat, just absolutely lit up. And uh, boy, I just didn't get a good enough hook into him. That is exciting. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Things are lighting up, boys. Yeah. I'm a little slower today. I had the fourth. Was that the fourth one, Larry? Yep. Fourth Number eat. Four. So we're one for four, which is about average. That's like a normal, normal good tarpon day. We still have a few hours here, so hopefully we can put another one or two to the boat. Got to change the mojo. Mix it up. These tarpon have us patterned. We're trying to pattern them. They got us patterned. All right. This is how it's going to be. Get the front. You know, I'll tell you what, we definitely have uh, had plenty of opportunities today, but we've definitely changed what we were doing. Um, just the way we're working the baits, changing the, the, the baits, uh, changing areas, you know, that's all key parts of being successful in any type of fishing. And then the grind, you know, just staying with it all the time. I mean, nobody in this boat except for Hunter, uh, which probably ate like six or seven sandwiches has really put the rod down ever on a pass. So, you know, you figure we're gonna have a good nine to 10 hours of cast, solid casting in here. That is a grind for sure. But you know, when you see what could happen and what does happen, it's definitely well worth it. I seen that bait go flying 10 feet. Holy cats, you guys. You wonder why we come and do this? That's exactly why we come and do this. For the opportunity to experience what we just experienced is unbelievable. It's worth the grind, no doubt. That was cool. You know, Dave, you, uh, you do a lot of muskie guiding back in Wisconsin on the Bay of Green Bay mostly. And no doubt, we've talked about this before last year when we came down here and fished with you. This is the ultimate of all ultimates when it comes to muskie fishing, fishing for tarpon. Yep. And, and it's so similar, and let's tell people really why we feel that way about it. Well, you're using the same exact tackle, 
Um, it's it's a casting bite and it's, it's extreme musky fish. And the beautiful thing about tarpon is it's usually not a fish to ten thousand cast. Right. You know, an average day like what we had today is is a seven normal fish. average. Yep. Uh, good tarpon fishing day. Uh, there's days that are worse and there's days that can be way better. But it's it's musky fishing for 150 pound muskies. When you're in a boat like it's Chris, you and me uh, fishing today, it's just as exciting to me, and I think uh, Chris feels the same way, and I know you do, to see somebody else connect into one of these unbelievable specimens. So, hey, we, let's see what happens. Uh, we're gonna head back. We got a good run back about maybe an hour, and uh, we're gonna go back and have a little something to eat. And to bed we go, and we'll be up early, and we'll see you guys in the morning. You going with the long sleeves today, huh? Well, I'm going to tell you something. I like the sun a lot. But one day of that, frying me, I got my face mask ready to roll. That sun can definitely tear you up. We had to make a major move, yep. Went about probably 25 miles. And now we're out on the ocean out here and uh, we're seeing a lot of fish. I mean, I'm talking a lot of fish. Stingray. Oh, is it really? Burning. Like burning, burning, burning. That's a drag. We got a monster is what we got. <laughs> why did I do this? Because it's fun, that's why. Yeah, I damn right it is. I don't know what it is, it's something big. But we've seen a lot of big fish. I know it's not a tarpon because it didn't come out of the water. Look at the size of that bluegill. Whoa! Oh you get that? Did you see that? <laughs> what was that? It's Moby Dick. What was that? <laughs> Holy smoly. Whoa. Whoa, that is a giant. Smack him, Larry. Bite him, Larry. Oh, no. No. Let's get him on. Let's break him off. Yeah. Here, Larry. Here's your spoon you ordered. Thank you. I knew I bought a spoon for a reason. Mm -hmm. That's how a real man eats his pudding. It is. Be good. Make sure you don't get them trebles in your lip. Don't worry. Only pudding. The update is that we uh, have totally switched areas here. And uh, we're just waiting for that tide to come in and fill this thing back up. And hopefully these fish will turn on because we certainly have seen enough of them in the last 10, 15 minutes. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you. You feel like you're in a family. You know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people. It's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. Along the mangroves? Yep. Oh, what was that right there? See yep. That? Right where it is. Yep. Right there. Get them. Pike. That would be big pike. 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 Bow, 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 bow. Oh, there you go. Fish! 
swirl Whew. and I said I'm gonna cast there and we haven't had a bite in about four hours and just twitched it and he just whoo, throttled it holy man you know what even though I didn't get that fish to the boat that's not what it's about it's about getting that initial bite and having that fish on for about three four minutes that was so epic I'll tell you that that's why we come down here and that's why we do we do what we do. You know what? I'll tell you what, Dave Nelson, no doubt. Whew! That's crazy, man. That is the absolutely the craziest stuff. It, until you try it, you just I can't even express to you how much adrenaline is going through your body and through your mind. Woo! Baby! Holy <laughs> Sherman! Hey everybody, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, I'll tell you what, Dave, you know, there is definitely a key to keeping these big fish hooked up. And let's talk a little bit about that. A lot of it is just crossing your fingers. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of hope, a lot of luck. A lot, a lot of hope, but there's so much power in that fish. Those head shakes are, are you know, it's not like a bass. You know, it's not a foot one way or the other, it's right. four feet. So. What we, you'll see and you can hear it a lot in the videos, we always say to bow or remember to bow. So that means to lean forward. Yeah, all you're really doing is pointing. Okay. You know, you point at the fish. And what you're doing, it's, it's not so much, it's, the problem is with that, that so much force in that fish that you're gonna pull that hook. So two things happen, either line's gonna break or the hook is gonna straighten or it's gonna pull out. Right. So if you don't bow and give that slack. Uh, when that like, fish is thrashing. Yep, and yep. that's what happened on that last fish. You can see you were looking back and he jumped on you. Well, that's the other thing is they jump and as soon as they hit the water, it's like they're jumping the other way, you know, and you're not really ready for it. Right. A lot of excitement there, I can tell you that. Oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. So sometimes it's a little bit tough to remember that, but no doubt that is the key is following. Yes. Okay. Yep. Hey everybody, again, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet. What a great way for me to at least break up the winter. I'll tell you what, Dave, what an exciting two days we had. No doubt yesterday was our day for sure. Today was more of a grind, but you know, I learned a lot. And you know, again, I kind of relate tarpon fishing right back to musky fishing, but what an awesome time. Hey, Chris, thank you for joining oh, us. Thank you. Dave, thank you. Anytime. Hey, Dave, so let's talk a little bit about really what you're doing down here and the way that you guide for tarpon. Yeah, yeah, so I spend five to six months down here, uh, usually starting the end of February until about the end of June. Okay. And that early part of the year, like what you've got right now until mid part of April, it's a it's a lot of casting. You can get them on a casting bite, live bait, also off the back of the boat, but we throw that musky tackle for them. As that water warms up, mid April, May and June, we start fishing more live and dead bait. Okay. And uh, that's, that's a lot of fun too. That's it's probably a great point. way if you want to bring kids down or Absolutely. inexperienced fishermen that don't aren't used to casting you know, eight, nine, ten hours, that's right. a great way to do it too. And it'll probably a lot more action that way too. It is, yeah, and we'll get sharks. You get sharks doing that and, and uh, some other things. And then if it's calm enough, we run offshore. Or I shouldn't say offshore, it's only about two, three miles and we'll catch permit. Okay. So yeah, it mixes up the day. That's awesome. Hey, let's tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. Yeah, the easiest way, easiest way is just to give me a call. Uh, my number is 262-443-1564. Awesome. Hey Dave, thanks again, I appreciate okay. it.
Big time. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us this week. We want to thank all of our military men and women for the great service that they give this country. And no doubt, we are still living in the greatest country in the world, and it is a great night to be alive. And we will see you guys next week. Thanks for joining us. Look, you're going to shake one cookie, dude. That's like kind of weird. You think everything's so funny, don't you? All right? That's the problem with the millennial, right? They always think they always think everything's so funny, right? I don't know what's right? so, so funny. So he talked me into getting like the most expensive vehicle, right? Yeah. Chris has promised two tarpon landed in the boat today. Or everybody in the shop gets a free set of tires. I have a funny feeling. Everyone we got are... sunglasses? 